Hello, and welcome to my operator guide for Dokabi. This is the first in a series of short videos that will help you get the most out of each operator in Rainbow Six Siege. Dokabi is a two-armor, two-speed attacking operator from the South Korean 707th Special Mission Battalion. She is extremely versatile, has weapons that are strong at both long and short range, and a gadget that can be devastating when used correctly. She is a support operator and is most effective when you and your team are communicating properly. Dokabi's unique ability is Logic Bomb, which allows her to make the defender's phones ring. They vibrate loudly so that they can be heard by attackers until the defender chooses to turn it off. This requires an animation that lasts a few seconds and during this time the defender cannot move or perform any other action. Like a few other operators, Dokabi actually has a second ability. When she is on the attacking team, defenders will drop their phones on the ground when they die. Dokabi can then approach the phone and hack into it using her tablet. This will then enable the attacking team to spectate almost all of the cameras on the map, including Valkyrie's black eyes, Maestro's evil eyes, and the bulletproof cameras. Attackers can mark enemies while spectating the cameras, but cannot move or control Maestro's evil eye turrets. On the screen now is how I personally run Dokabi. I use the Mark 14 EBR as her primary weapon, with an ACOG sight, a muzzle brake, and an angled grip. The ACOG allows for long-range targeting, and the muzzle brake offers greatly reduced recoil for semi-auto firing. I use the angled grip instead of the vertical grip because I will generally be okay with the recoil reduction provided by the muzzle brake alone, and I prefer to have the quicker aim down sight speed offered by the angled grip. The Mark 14 is not one of the strongest DMRs in the game, but is a solid complement to her secondary weapon. Dokabi's alternative primary weapon is the Boss G 12.2 shotgun. This is a single slug shotgun with two barrels and can only fire two rounds before needing to reload. This weapon is rarely used and while interesting and certainly unique, is more of a gimmick than a practical alternative to a DMR. For Dokabi's secondary weapon, I use the SMG-12 with a holographic sight and a vertical grip. This gun also has an integrated suppressor. At the time of recording, it is one of the best guns in the game, although it will be nerfed with the arrival of Operation Grim Sky. The SMG-12 has an extremely high rate of fire, decent damage, and a 33-round magazine, including one in the chamber. It has considerable recoil, but the rate of fire means that you are likely to get a headshot within the first few bullets. Operation Grim Sky will see the recoil of this gun increased, so beware. That said, I still expect the SMG-12 to be a strong weapon, and the community has regarded it as overpowered for a while now, so a nerf was to be expected. Dokabi's alternative secondary weapon is the C-75 Auto. This gun does more damage per bullet than the SMG-12, but has a lower rate of fire and a lower capacity. Furthermore, it cannot be equipped with any sights or grips. The recoil is slightly more manageable than that of the SMG-12, but it is weaker in all other aspects. For Dokabi's secondary gadget, I always use smoke grenades. Flashbangs are available to her as well, but these will usually only be taken by players who use Dokabi aggressively, which I would not recommend. Since smoke grenades are one of the most useful gadgets in the game, especially on bomb, they are the obvious choice. Dokabi is very much a support operator and should not be used solely to get kills. Like Smoke and Lesion on the defending team, she is more valuable the longer she remains alive. She has a lot of utility, but you need to play carefully to get the most out of her. Only use her gadget when your team is actively hunting roamers or when pushing the objective. I have seen so many players use her logic bomb seconds after spawning and this is such a waste. Always tell your team when you're about to use the logic bomb and listen to callouts from your teammates so you can determine the best time to use it. For example, if your team is about to plant the diffuser or push the objective, make sure you are in cover and use the logic bomb to distract the defenders and make roamers easier to hear as they make their way back to the objective. When hacking a dead defender's phone, make sure you are either being covered by a teammate or that you are in a completely safe place where there is little to no chance of being ambushed by a roamer. Hacking the defender's cameras is extremely powerful, so always try to do this if you come across a lone, dead defender. Once you have hacked in, both teams will be alerted to the fact that attackers now have access to the defender's cams, and your dead teammates should be able to make callouts for you. 
Dokubi's DMR is effective at holding long angles and covering windows from outside the objective. Use this when you are in solid cover and have a long line of sight. When pushing into the building, use your SMG-12 for clearing rooms and small spaces. The SMG-12 has enough ammo to pick up multiple kills with one magazine, but remember to use short bursts or the recoil will get the better of you. If Dokubi is kept alive long enough, she should be able to deploy both logic bombs, hack a defender's phone, and use both her smoke grenades. If you are able to do all of these things in a round and do them effectively, you will be well on your way to being a solid Dokubi player. Dokubi works well in combination with Jackal and Lion. Using all of these operators in combination is an effective but slightly obnoxious strategy, since they essentially all achieve the same result and when timed correctly can be very effective at locking down defenders to one spot, locating them, and killing them. Jackal can locate roamers with his footprint scanner, and then Dokubi can activate her logic bomb so that the defender will have to make a choice. Do they run and risk being heard, or stay put to turn off the phone and risk being sniffed out by Jackal? Add Lion into the mix, and the defender can't move without giving their position away. Dokubi can be countered indirectly by Mute. If a defender is standing within range of one of Mute's signal disruptors when the call is made, their phone will not ring. Dokubi can be directly countered by Echo, who does not have a phone, and is the only defender who will never get the phone call. Echo's phone is built into his wrist computer that he uses to control his yokai drones, which cannot be hacked and can never be spectated by the attackers. One additional point worth mentioning is that once dropped, defenders' phones can be destroyed by explosives or bandits' batteries. Destroying a defender's phone before it is hacked will prevent Dokubi from accessing it. However, once she has accessed a defender's phone, she does not need to hack another, and the remaining phones on the map will disappear. Dokubi is one of my favourite operators and is very rewarding to use. She has great utility and if used effectively can almost guarantee a win for the attacking team. That concludes my operator guide and I hope you feel more confident about using Dokubi. Comment below and let me know which operator you would like me to cover in my next video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.